Hi, Joel Hickerson, Grindog.com. Today we're going to learn how to draw geometric line art. First we'll start with some simple shapes. Um, so yeah, well let's start with the triangle for instance. We would draw the simple shape of the triangle first and maybe uh, give a little perspective into almost a pyramid. Or maybe we would draw a square, simple shape of the square. And again, pick a one point perspective bring it back to that this point that we have, bring all the lines to the point, uh, and then cut it off. And that would give us our square. Diamond, same thing. Bring a line down the center, line through the middle, line to the center point here, that line, match the other with the other line, and you have a diamond. Uh, and that gives you some very simple shapes. Now, the thing about geometric line art is usually it creates a pattern of some kind. So you use these elements into uh, and create a pattern that's uh, sort of dynamic. Uh, and we'll start with a square. And you pick the middle point in each part of the square. Come down with a line. I and mean, usually when you do this, it's either on the computer or you're using a straight edge to where the lines are a little truer. But for the for what we're doing, this should work. Again, with the diamond, we'll come straight down, straight across. Pick the center point in each one of these lines, come to it, to it, and then on down, down. And then you might want to come in on the edge. I'll erase some of these lines. Uh, the very edge point, maybe come to the middle and do another like half diamond over here, maybe with a few more spires. Think about geometric line art, once you start a pattern, the uniformity uh, needs to be consistent, at least in this type. And that gives you that, and uh, it almost, if you want to thicken your line of the central object, it'll push it forward. You can even do the same thing with the middle here. And I kind of thrust the diamond forward in the background, or you can come in, maybe darken every other one of these. It kind of generally has the same effect. Uh, but that gives you a pretty good idea on how to get started, and you can come back around the outside again and create a pattern Oops, that disappears into the background. Uh, possibilities are pretty much endless. But that's, a, that's a good starting place for a, uh, an example of geometric line art. And that's how you draw geometric line art.